700 jobs, most of them are to go in Switzerland. How, how big uh, an announce, how big uh, a piece of news is this? Well done on the reporting. Hi, Menace. Thanks. Yeah, so this is this is pretty big for, for Amherst's first year. Um, we're, we're already seeing a couple, you know, a couple dozen coming out of wealth management and IB. Um, the bulk of it, as you said, 700 up to 700 will be in Switzerland. Um, but we're expecting to see some of that also come out of the other regions as well. Um, it's a it's a big announcement, but not huge in comparison to some of the other banks' cost-cutting programs on job cuts. Um, and, and the caveat here is that a lot of that will come out of the bank's sort of corporate cost center, which is sort of the engine room where a lot of the support and IT and ops sit. And that's a key area that new CEO Ralph Hammers wants to digitize. Um, so it might not necessarily be the bankers at the front. What's the goal of this, uh, Marianne? How does this play into his new strategic plan? Sure, yeah. So costs have been a perennial headache at UBS. It simply just operates at a higher cost base than many of its competitors. And that, you know, that long troubled uh, Hammers' predecessor, Sergio Amati, he, he, you know, went through a lot of restructuring and job cuts. And so it makes sense for Hammers to start there. But it is low-hanging fruit um, to cut jobs for costs. So he'll have to go further. And he's hinted at that a little bit, um, saying digital might be the key. But, you know, so far, we really don't have that many details beyond an expected savings of $1 billion over three years.